Now I will use the Data Dynamics Analysis Viewer to analyze the data in the spreadsheet that we were looking at in spread. Uh, I will, the Data Dynamics Analysis Control is a component that consists of a schema area. The schema area represents the structure of the data and we will use these attributes and measures to drop onto the different shells and view the data here in a grid. Uh, I'll start by opening the an analysis file that will allow me to connect to the same Excel spreadsheet that was being worked on in spread. What you see here is that the component connected to the Excel spreadsheet retrieved the structure of the spreadsheet making showing us the fields and the measures. The measures are the numeric values that are in the spreadsheet and it also took the dates that exist in the spreadsheet and converted them into what we call hierarchies meaning it took a date and broke it down into its hierarchical components from year, quarter, month, and day. We can also create hierarchies on things like geography, where a country contains regions, and regions would contain cities, and the cities would contain different customers that are in that city. Uh, I'll start off my analysis by looking at the status of an opportunity in our CRM data. So I'll take the status, drop it on the row area of the shell. The component will connect to the Excel spreadsheet. We'll take a few seconds here to retrieve the Excel spreadsheet and create what we call an in-memory cube. As you can see here, it completed that function and retrieved the different values that uh, are contained within this opportunity status. Next, I will look within each status, what is the reason for each of these? And you notice that the lost status uh, has different reasons why we would have lost an opportunity. The one, different reasons why we lost an opportunity, for example, competitive pricing, responsive to service after sale, and so on. Uh, next, I will use the current step of an opportunity. So. That opportunity, is it in contract, is it in, uh, in analysis stage, all the way to proposal and contract. You'll notice that it filled the same values, but here we have nothing in the grid area because we have not dropped any measures or numerical values to analyze. So I will use um, the, act, the, estimated, the estimated value of each opportunity and use that in my analysis. I will drop it here on the data shelf. As soon as I drop it, you'll notice that the grid is filled with all these numbers and I can start reviewing some of these numbers. You'll notice that we lost, for example, $4 million, uh, $4 million opportunity dollars in opportunities at the analysis stage because our pricing was not competitive enough. I would like to take a deeper look. Now, if you notice the grid, is full of these numbers that are not very easy to spot any trends or compare any values to each other. So I'm going to switch this from a text to a bar and you immediately see that now the grid is a lot easier to see and we see which, which are high values versus low values. I would like to see this actually even more organized by moving the values to the columns and then immediately switch it from a bar from a column into a bar component Let's remove some of these labels to make the area less crowded. Now this looks very nice. I would like to add an interesting way of looking, analyzing and looking for trends. I will look at the average of the close probability. I'll drop that onto the color. As soon as I drop this onto the color, you'll notice that the grid will colorize these numbers based on that probability of a close. Now you'll see here that a lot of these, uh, most of these opportunities that we have lost were because it had an initial low probability of closing, but these have higher probability of closing and we we won them. Now the ones that are in the middle have somewhat of a mix and that's why you see uh, that they have the purple color. This is the range showing me from low probability all the way to high probability and how it's, it's affected our opportunities lost or won. Now I would like to introduce another factor in my analysis. So I'm going to drop in the different territories that we have 
in our data and see how each territory is doing, we'll drop it on the pages shell. This will create a this will break down the single view into multiple views, one for each territory. So I'm moving from central to eastern to western and reviewing the data individually for each of these. Now you'll notice that the western the, the uh, central is not doing so great. However, you notice the eastern is doing very well. Most of the opportunities are one. And I would like to look at the western. And again, we're losing quite a few, even though they had some good probabilities all the way at the terms of condition. These are purple in color, so they had high probability. However, we still lost that. So I would like to see what was why was that. So I'm going to introduce the customer credit limit and use that in my color instead of the probability of a close. And now we see that some of these ones that were winning, they, the customer had low, uh, low credit rating, while these that we have lost, the customer might have had a higher credit rating. So you might want to know why are we losing these customers. And here in the western section, we have a bigger problem. Most of our customers, it seems, in the West Coast, uh, Western section do not have a very good rating, yet we are still we're counting on them for very high uh, dollar uh, amounts for these deals. So we might want to go and just see how we can improve our customer by looking at the underlying data and seeing these, these customers, who they are, maybe getting in touch with them and reviewing each deal individually to reduce the risk of losing these deals. So this was a very interesting and very insightful look at our data, something that you cannot really do with a, uh, a spreadsheet or a grid control. This allows you to gain insight, to help you with your business decisions, uh, and spotting trends that will affect your daily uh, business uh, tactics and long-term strategy. Uh, next, I'm gonna, I'm gonna load up a couple of views that I've created earlier. This one here, I'm gonna analyze different reasons why we have lost an opportunity so here for in each of these territories i'm looking at why what was the reason for losing these opportunities and you will notice that we are losing quite a bit because of our pricing is not competitive here we have ten thousand or ten million dollars were lost in opportunities in the eastern section because our pricing was not competitive maybe we could go in and look at the underlying data from here and see if we could save some of these opportunities so this is the type of analysis that is very helpful and will turn uh, will turn immediate value uh, from this analysis this concludes the demo and uh, hopefully this will show you the power of the, the spreadsheet platform the embedded spreadsheet platform and the added value of the analysis component thank you